going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is for entertainment purposes only. So this week I kind of just uh, held back. I don't have enough evidence yet. But I think we have it now. I think we have it. I wanted to wait for the shift. So Euro, we retested on the weekly. And it started moving. All right, Aussie USD, we have a uh, engulfing. And NZD USD, we are so close, man. We are so close to that trend line. You know what I mean? So I feel like there's, and, and this seems corrective and sideways. So I feel like there's one more push coming to the upside. And maybe this was the top right here. But I wanted, I, like, I wanted to wait for the momentum shift, you know? And I think we might have it. So this this looks like an expansion here. So I feel like price is going to shoot up to this uh, dot six two zero 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 level. Tap that, and that could be one good area to look for a short. And if it comes higher and breaks this high, then that would be my second location to add on to my first position. And if it comes all the way to the trend line, that would be my third. But it's like I have one, two, three areas that I think I'm going to try to scale in. And if I'm right on the first one and it starts ripping, then we'll wait for pullbacks and, and scale into it that way. Then Aussie, it looks like maybe that could have been the top as well. And now we're getting a correction. So I think one more push to the upside. And then we get the break to the downside because we need to retrace the previous weekly candle uh, no matter what. You know what I mean? So Euro, obviously this this looks like a little expansion happening here. So this might jump up, take out this high, and then start dropping from there. That's what, I mean, that's what it looks like to me. I mean, it's happening all across the board here. See this? Price is expanding out here. So this might take this low or not take this low I don't know seems like we have a double bottom there so that would be a good good place for them to shoot the market down to this area take that double bottom and then go so I mean there's there's many options this week but I'll, I think I'm gonna focus on uh, like NZD or Aussie I really like Aussie too to the uh, to the downside because I think it, we're definitely taking out the, uh, the COVID low. For sure. Like we're, we're getting close. We just needed to come up and retest this. And who knows? This thing could shoot up and hit this. This is really where I'm interested. Right here. Is this zone right here? If we can get price in that zone, I'll all in it. Just like all in. But I don't know if we're going to get it because we do we do have a bearish weekly engulfing here. But we do have some wick. So the next this week could be bullish, maybe close up here somewhere and then reverse or possibly we get the reversal this week for NZD and, and USD. So either way, I'm just saying that I'm looking to scale in short Aussie or NZD. Or something like that. You know what I mean? That's that's my plan for this week. Bitcoin, I really screwed the pooch on this one. You know what I mean? I was buying it here. And I was up. And I ended up taking profit like here. Thinking that this was going to rip back down. And it took off. And it looks like we're forming a pennant right now. But... Uh, no, I'm going to wait. This has not been retested. I'm going to wait until it does. I don't care if this keeps going. You know what I mean? I don't care. I, I need to see what I need to see or I'm not trading it. There's plenty of other things to trade. Bitcoin can wait. I need to see it hit 32,000. And if it doesn't, it doesn't whatever you know what i mean but uh yeah anyways that's it for this one see you later